Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Shepherd's Corner. And what a good night we're going to have on Shepherd's Corner. We actually have the shepherd with us wow. this evening. It's amazing. It's amazing. Straight from Rome. Straight from <laughs> Welcome, shepherd. How Thank are you? Are you I'm doing good? How's the sheep? The boy, the sheep. We don't know what. Without the shepherd, we have some problems. No, no, no. We must fix that immediately. We have to fix that immediately. People, hot off the press. Hot off the press. If you haven't got your Catholic news as yet, I want you to go and get it. But I know some people got it already because, boy, they've been sending in WhatsApp messages even before we start the show. And the show is the symbol of, of authority in the call to serve. That's what it's all about. The symbol of authority in the call to serve. And what's that symbol of authority? Archbishop. The pallium. The pallium. Now, what's the pallium? Boy. The pallium is a vestment. Mm -hmm. It's a vestment that has been used for the church by the church for many, many years, from maybe the 600s on. We have the earliest references of it, which means it was used before that. It's, it's made out of wool. It's, it comes around the neck. It comes down in front and, and one bar behind. If you hold that up, they might even see a, a, a picture of it from the arm. Um, from the, 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 the thing, picture, the picture, right? And it, it has it's it has six wooden six um, black crosses on it, mm -hmm. and the the two ends, so the front end and the back end, are in a, a black silk mm -hmm. that kind of anchor it and give it a sense of dignity. Why, 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 why sheep's wool? Ah, boy, you see, the pallium is a symbol of the the. Christ the Good Shepherd, mm -hmm. who takes the sheep to himself and, and, and carries the sheep on his shoulders. And, and the symbol of the pallium is that the, the, the shepherd, who is a good shepherd, will always take care of his sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a wonderful story about shepherding, eh? that, that it always blows my mind. If a, if, a, if a shepherd had an errand sheep, mm -hmm. a wayward sheep, yeah. and he couldn't get the sheep to bond with him, he would break the feet of the sheep. He would break the feet he of the sheep? break the feet of the sheep, put the sheep around his neck, yeah. and walk that sheep with him yes. until the feet heal. Uh -huh. And by the time the feet heal, that mm -hmm. sheep and him are so bonded yeah. that that sheep would never run away from him anymore. Hold on a minute. And, and Jesus is supposed to be the good shepherd? Yes. He, he break sheep, he, you'll break your legs too? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Hold on, shepherd! When, think of a time in your life. I don't want to think about when, that time. When a serious adversity, adversity yeah. happened to you. Yeah. And you felt like your two feet get broken. <laughs> and at the end of that, you were much more knitted and close to Jesus than before it. All you hear what the shepherd say tonight. All you, I mean, outside there. Well, you want your legs broken, stick to the shepherd, your partner. <laughs> it's only for those sheep that want to be wayward and errant. Like me. Only that. Oh. The, the rest, the good sheep, don't yeah. need special care. They don't need special care. So the pallium yeah. is, is literally the sheep around the shepherd's neck. Okay. Literally. And, and that's why it's, it's sheep's wool that is used, because it's, it's a highly symbolic vestment that signifies... The, the, the sheep and signifies the shepherding role of the Archbishop in the metropolitan province to which he has been assigned. Now, you said Archbishop. Bishop, do bishops get pallions too? No. They don't? No. My six and a half years as a bishop, I didn't have a pallium. Okay, okay. The pallium is for the Archbishop. And it signifies a very special relationship between the Archbishop and the, the Holy Father. And that's why it is, give, it is all the, the ritual behind it. Mm -hmm. it. That's why we have all of that ritual. So now that you were made Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain, that's yeah. the reason you went, you went to Rome. So once a year, mm -hmm. on the Feast of, of St. Peter's and Paul, mm -hmm. which is the 29th of June, mm -hmm. the Holy Father will bless the, the pallium. Okay. 
So the, the process is a wonderful story. Mm -hmm. On in January, the Holy Father goes and, and, and blesses two sheep. Mm -hmm. And they're specially chosen because they're spotless, yeah. no the, the deformities, etc., etc. Right. He'll bless these no two broken sheep. legs. No broken legs. No broken legs. So no, there's no way what sheep be dealing with. <laughs> they were good sheep. Yeah. And he would bless these two sheep. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit later on, those sheep would be shared, and the wool from those sheep would be taken to a monastery of the Benedictines right. in St. Cecilia. And, and those, that, in that monastery, those Benedictines would then take that wool and, and make it into yarn and then make the pallium from it, right. or the pallia, plural, yeah. from it. Yeah. And, and when they make the pallia, then that, that then goes to Rome. And on the night before the Feast of St. Peter and Paul, all these pallia are put on the tomb of St. Peter, where they, they rest overnight. Now, when you, when you put anything on the tomb of a saint, yeah. it becomes a relic. Wow. So you mean to say that your pallium is a relic, a holy... It's holy. Wow. And, I'd have touched and, that, boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you could touch that yes. <laughs> is if you let me put you around my neck. <laughs> you got to break my legs, boy. You got to break my legs. I carry you for a little while. <laughs> so the... the the, the pallium is then put on the tomb of Peter overnight. Right. It sleeps there on the night before. Yeah. <clears throat> and then on the, on the morning of the, of the celebration, the, um, a deacon or two deacons go down, pick them up, yeah. and bring them up in procession up to the altar where the Holy Father is presiding at Mass. Yeah. And there on the altar, he blesses them then. Right. And the blessing is a, is a very beautiful blessing. You, you, we have a... Um, a thing of it. If you bring yeah, 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 I remember. I remember your, your blessing on this thing. I mean, it, it is incredible. It's a very beautiful text on the on the blessing. And now you know we saw you. you know. I know. We, we just want to let you know yeah, we saw you receiving yeah. the pallium and so Good. on with the rest of the of the of the um of the, the archbishops, archbishops the, the because new you know, archbishops. the new archbishops because you know I didn't know it was archbishops alone that would receive it. So your partner was looking for the other bishops and so on, you know, and say, hey, where the bishop of Grenada? You know, looking for all the new bishops. I said, but wait, now, when you see an archbishop, Jay, he's the only one I know there. How um, many archbishops were there? You remember? I don't, but I, I think it would be about 20 mm -hmm. or 20 something archbishops that we had, that we had there. Now, going back to that prayer, the prayer used for the blessing of the pallium by Pope Francis speaks of its significance. O God, eternal shepherd of souls, whom by the name of sheep you entrusted through Jesus Christ, your son, to be governed by the blessed apostle Peter and his successors according to the model of the good shepherd. Through our ministry, pour out the grace of your blessing upon these pallia, which you have chosen as a symbol of the office of pastoral care. Graciously accept our humble petitions, and through the merits and prayers of the apostles, grant that those who, by your gift, will wear this vestment, will understand that they are shepherds of your flock, and express by their actions the meaning of his name. But listen, man, this thing goes on, you know. May, the, may they take up the yoke, of the gospel placed on their shoulders and may they find it so light and easy that they guide others by their example and fidelity in the way of your commandments they may merit a place in your eternal pasture to christ our lord wow it's a beautiful prayer that is a beautiful prayer it's just a beautiful prayer so, so wait talks... a minute. you're going to hang this prayer up on your fridge and remember to read it and take what you tell <laughs> I'll hang it on the pallet <laughs> and read it every time I put it on. No, but the, putting it on. Wait, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I remember seeing some questions coming up here. Yeah. When are you supposed to wear the pallium? Is it wear on all the time or on, only on special occasions? What's the story about this pallium? Once, once I'm, I'm doing what it would be called a pontifical mass, yeah. which is a mass where I'm presiding with crozier, mm -hmm. with mitre, then I use the pallium. Okay. Within the province of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain. Okay. 
speaking. I mean, what, so, what are the, what, what, when you say the province of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain, I understand that. But there may be many, many people outside there watching on tonight and they see the shepherd so and they say, what, what is this? What's the, what the province you're talking about? So we have the Universal Church. Right. Then we have continents. We have the five continents. Okay. Then each of the continents are divided into um, episcopal, episcopal conferences. Okay. So we are the Antilles Episcopal Conference. Haiti has an Episcopal Conference. Santo Domingo mm -hmm. has an Episcopal Conference, um, et cetera, et cetera. Then the Episcopal Conferences are divided into provinces. So our Episcopal Conference has five provinces. Okay. Port of Spain, Castries, um, Kingston, mm -hmm. Martinique, and uh, Bahamas. So we have five archdioceses within the AEC, within the Antilles Episcopal Conference. Say that again. Port of Spain. Port of Spain. Castries. Castries. Martinique. Martinique. Kingston. Kingston. Jamaica. Gotcha. And Nassau, Bahamas. And Nassau. Okay. All right. So five archdioceses, mm -hmm. five provinces. Okay. So the province of Port of Spain consists of Suriname. Mm -hmm. Guyana, mm -hmm. Curaçao, mm -hmm. Barbados, and Port of Spain. But how, I mean, are, okay, Barbados, I could get. Um, Guyana, I could get. But the others don't speak English. So the two Dutch. Yeah. And then the English. Yeah. So the Dutch aren't big enough mm -hmm. to be a province on their own. So Martinique is a province. Okay. And, and that would be Cayenne, mm -hmm. Guadeloupe. Martinique, so all the French islands right. form one province. Okay. But the Dutch islands are a little um, smaller. Okay. Okay. Or the, the, so it's, it would be just Curaçao and, and, uh, Curaçao and Suriname. Okay. And even Curaçao isn't quite Dutch yeah, yeah. in that they speak Papamento, they speak many different languages. Right. So the two Dutch mm -hmm. and the, the three English form the, the province of, of Port of Spain. And, and so the, the province is a, is a unit of the church okay. that operates as such. So when we have bishops' meetings, we would, the bishops of the province would meet. Every year there's a meeting of the province, the, the diocesan priests of the province of Port of Spain. They, they come from all the islands, they really? come to here, and they gather and they meet. And, and it's an ongoing um, theological reflection and, and, and concerns and expression of, of what are the, the concerns of the province, which they, they give back to us as bishops. And then we, we reflect on that, them and we meet with them and, and, and enter into dialogue with, with, with the province. Okay. Now, Port of Spain, the Archdiocese of Port of Spain, and in Trinidad and Tobago in, in particular, mm -hmm. used to have um, a, a 